Hey everybody, it's Josh here again. Welcome back to my channel. I do a lot of videos on IT, cybersecurity, education, and career type stuff, but today I'm going to be talking about study.com. I'm gonna cover some things like how you can use study.com to kind of complete credits and then transfer them into your college. Specifically, I'm gonna talk about WGU for this because there's a lot of people who use study.com to kind of accelerate their degree at WGU and finish early. I'm also gonna cover what the study.com transcript looks like and how you can kind of transfer that into WG specifically and like kind of that whole process process dealing with the enrollment counselor and like what they'll send you and like what you can kind of expect out of it. I'm also going to cover the study.com kind of learning platform itself, like what the course structure looks like, how to pass and like all that good stuff. Next, I'll kind of talk about the cost of study.com, like the different kind of learning platforms, like if you just want to study for the heck of it because you like studying or if you want to get actual college credits for it, you have to kind of subscribe to a different plan. And then finally, I'll go over like this kind of strategy or process that I use to kind of complete a lot of credits at study.com, transfer them to WGU and kind of get your degree faster than normal. So if you're interested in study.com, either for transferring credits or just for, for fun or the heck of it, or you're kind of researching WGU and you're interested in kind of accelerating your bachelor's degree, this video is definitely going to be useful. Uh, so go ahead and put it at 2x or whatever you need to and watch it to the end. And I will say I have used study.com myself for my computer science degree. I actually made a video kind of talking about it where it really dives in deep uh, for the as far as the transfers go. So if you're kind of interested in comp site W, you go ahead and check out that video as well and i also have like a, a discount code for study.com i'll put it in the description as well as some of the spreadsheets but yeah just wanted to throw that out there so as you probably already know study.com is basically a large online learning platform where you can go and take classes for like a whole bunch of different topics and study.com does have accreditation i think it might depend on the class but they have a whole kind of page here outlining their accrediting bodies and, and the different accreditations they have if you have like a school in mind definitely it's a good idea to kind of check with the school first if they accept study.com credits because it might be different depending on the classes that you're trying to transfer in. So study.com also kind of has this website here where you can kind of go to look up to see if your actual school accepts study.com credits. So they have some schools that are guaranteed and some schools like not necessarily guaranteed but they take certain classes depending on like what the class is and what the school is. So you can kind of look through this list and then at the very bottom here there's something where you can actually type the name of the school in. So for example example, like Western Governors University, there's a star here. So they they're guaranteed to accept at least some credits from study.com. Um, you can kind of check other schools like maybe like you can see these two accept apparently courses with ACE or NCCRS. And then maybe some schools like these two schools like don't necessarily accept it. So I would you know, check with the school's enrollment department. You can also check on this page to kind of see if your school accepts it. I know a lot of people use study.com like exclusively for WGU to kind of knock out classes before enrolling to kind of decrease the time it takes for them to get their bachelor's degree. So to just kind of show, I guess, what the study.com transcript looks like, uh, for me, I personally completed uh, Discrete Math 1 as well as Data Structures and Algorithms 1 for my computer science course at WGU. So I went to study.com and I kind of registered and I took these two classes down here. And then when I went to transfer my study.com transcript to WGU, basically like study.com sent me this. And then they sent they sent a, they can send a copy to you and they'll send a copy also like directly to Western Governors University. And then pretty much like what happens, um, the idea is you kind of talk to your enrollment counselor, say, for example, I want to enroll in the computer science degree. And then they tell you, OK, like, go ahead and send your transcripts to us. So if you have like community college or something or in this case, study.com, you'll like send that transcript to them. Um, you just do it through like the study.com website. It's pretty easy. And then once, for example, once WG receives your study.com transcript, they will, I'll put a link to this thing in the description, by the way, it's like really hard to see, I know. Um, so go ahead and open that link in the description, but they'll send you something back that kind of looks like this. And basically like, these are all the classes that are required for your degree program at WGU. And the ones that are green are basically the ones that are satisfied, whether it's from your like previous college or from study.com or straighter line. And so for example, this one here, this data structures and algorithms one here, this is what I satisfied with study.com. So study.com data structures and algorithms one. So you'll kind of see something like this when they 
they send it back to you and they'll they'll mark off on your class list like what you have left to complete. So basically the idea is like before you even like kind of register at study.com, you would you would have talked to your enrollment counselor. They'll kind of send you one of these things like initially and you can kind of see like where there's gray. That means like these are kind of the courses that you have left to complete at WGU. So if you wanted to, you could kind of like go through these individual courses and see which one of these you can do at study.com and then kind of do it and then transfer them in. So specifically, if you're interested in WGU, I kind of made this spreadsheet that you can use. Again, for sure, I'll put a link for this in the description. But for example, if you want to go to WGU and you're like, man, I want to do as many classes as I can from study.com to kind of decrease the time it takes for me to finish my degree. So basically, I would just go to this sheet and kind of pick the degree that you're interested in. For example, you want to do a bachelor's of science in cybersecurity and information assurance. I'll just click this and going to this clicking on this link will kind of take you directly to WG's like most up to date transfer guidance for this course. And you can see here like on the left here, these are all the classes that you need to complete at WGU to kind of get your bachelor's in cybersecurity. And then on the right, these are like the study.com equivalent classes. So for example, say you get this thing back from your enrollment counselor and this English composition one, maybe this is gray, meaning you have to do it. So for example, you'd kind of come to this sheet and you'd find English one and then you'd kind of find the equivalent course in study.com. So then you'd kind of know like, okay, I need to do like English 104 from study.com to kind of get it transferred over for WGU. So basically you just go through this list, you match these classes up to the classes that you need to complete your degree. And the idea is you basically just complete these kind of individual classes. And then when you're done, you get your transcript, you get your transcript here from study.com, send it to WGU, and then they'll kind of reevaluate your curriculum requirements. And then they'll, they'll kind of send a new one of these back to you kind of showing you like what you have left to do. So basically, you don't have to do like all of these classes. It's it's just the first one. So for example, this integrated science course, you would just have to do, for example, astronomy 101 to kind of satisfy that. And you can't do like every single course at study.com, you'll see some of these ones down here, like IT foundations, so there's no equivalent course, for example, and then there's some courses that that must be completed at WGU. So for example, in this case, you have to do the capstone or the final of course at WGU and whatever other courses kind of have a blank here, they don't necessarily have a study.com equivalent that you can transfer in. You can kind of, you can satisfy these with like certs and like other things, but this kind of sheet or this kind of site right here, this is just for study.com and kind of giving you, giving you an idea of what transfers in. So next, I kind of want to go into the learning format and kind of show you what the courses look like. So for example, I'll just show you the data structures and algorithms course that I did for my computer science degree. Basically, study.com has like whole bunch of classes, but you can pretty much search for whatever class you want. So I'll just search for data structures and algorithms. And you can see like kind of a bunch of courses pop out over here. So this is the one that I completed. So we'll kind of go into here. And I'll just show the syllabus like really quick and kind of talk about it. So basically to pass courses, they'll they'll give you like kind of a thing where they talk about like the minimum score you have to get and like how everything is scored. And not every class is the same. But for data structures and algorithms, for instance, you need like a total of, you know, 210 points overall to pass the class. And these are the kind of areas where the points are. So for example, quizzes, 100 points, assignments, and then the final exam. So basically, out of these three, you have to manage to get at least 210 points, and then you'll automatically pass the class. And it's really nice because it's pretty low stress in the sense that the quizzes and assignments are not really proctored. So for example, if you manage to get like 100% on the quizzes, and which you can take multiple times, I think there's a limit of like three times. But if you manage to get like 100% on the quizzes, and then like the final assignment, you get 100% because you can kind of take your time and like go through it. You only need like 10% on the final to actually pass the class. And the final is the only thing that's proctored. So it's like really low stakes and, and really low stress. So that's pretty nice. In my opinion, it's it's pretty kind of relaxed. You can just kind of take your time and, and go through the material and not feel like too stressed about um, getting test anxiety or anything. As long as you do a good job on the quizzes and the assignments, the final is like not really a big deal in my opinion. Uh, so basically like going into how the classes are, how the courses are structured, Everything is like from all the classes I've looked at, they're all kind of broken up like this into different chapters. Again, this is data structures and algorithms. And each kind of chapter has its own section. And each section, if you go into it, they'll usually have like a nice video that you can watch. And the videos are pretty good, in my opinion, kind of as you can kind of see, it's it's quite visual. And I, I this sounds really
really bad, but I really don't like reading textbooks. So that's it's really nice that they have videos. So basically, each kind of section has a has a pretty short video. For example, I don't know how, how long is this one? It's like a minute long or something. Uh, this one's really short. They're not usually that short, but they'll have like a video and then they'll there'll be like a little quiz that you can do afterwards. The quiz is like quite short. It's usually like around like five questions from what I've seen. And you, you complete the quiz and this the kind of score for the quiz counts toward like your final like quizzes score. So you kind of want to go through like each section, each chapter, each section, complete like all the quizzes, try to get 100% on the quizzes because that will kind of only help you in the end. And um, the higher your quiz score is like the less you have to worry about the final if that makes sense. That's pretty much what the courses look like. And in the end, not every course has this, but a lot of the programming courses do I found they'll have like a, a little assignment you have to do at the end. But basically at the end, you'll have like an assignment you have to do and they kind of give you like a grading rubric and just in instructions and stuff and you just kind of do it you do the assignment and make sure it works and then submit it and then someone will take like a day or so to grade it and then they'll kind of give you a score at the end and then after you finish that the last thing you have to do is like the proctored final and then you'll be done with the course so it's pretty fast if you're kind of wondering how long these courses take this particular one maybe it took me like a week to do I went through like the chapters like really quickly and the discrete math one I took discrete math and data structures and algorithms and they both took about a week like six days to a week or something like this it just depends right on how much time you you can put into it and like how much time you have and like how familiar you are with the subject and, and everything like that but but yeah that's pretty much like the overview of kind of what you can expect next i just want to kind of cover the cost of study.com so you can kind of know what to expect so there's like a bunch of different tiers depending on what you want to do so for example if you just want to study and take courses but you don't necessarily need college credit without the discount uh use this discount code for 30 percent off the first three months but without the discount um just to kind of get access to it, it's about $60 per month. But if you want to get access to study.com with the intent of actually earning credit and transferring it to WGU or transferring it to whatever your school is, it's going to be about $200 a month, like without the discount. With the discount, it'll be what is that like minus $60 for the first three months. So it'll be about $140 a month just to kind of get credits and transfer them into WGU, which it's it's pretty good. I, I personally went with this route because it kind of lets me get a bunch of kind of general classes out of the way before I actually enroll in WGU and kind of like there's less emotional burden I guess like using study.com for those kind of initial classes especially if you aren't really used to the distance learning thing so for example how WGU works particularly you you pay for like a term which is six months so you basically pay like 3500 to 4k like depending on what your program is and then you can complete as many courses as you can in that six months but with study.com you pay you know 100 and 140 dollars or 200 without the discount per month and you have like kind of one month commitment and then you can kind of complete classes as you go and then when you're done you just like cancel it so for example so say you just want to do like four classes and it takes you two months for instance you just pay like per month and then just do the four classes that you want to do and then you can stop it and then kind of transfer those into WG and you don't have to really you don't have to really worry about like a long like six month commitment or something like this so you can just complete the classes that you want to do stop the subscription and then kind of transfer everything over without a huge capital expenditure if that makes sense and that's what I did for my degree um I use straighter straighterline.com as well but I use study.com and a lot of people do this they use like study.com especially for WGU complete those kind of general courses and like whatever they can and transfer everything into WGU and then once you have like kind of everything transferred in you can like finish your bachelor's like super fast like me for instance um I, I use like straighter line study.com and like a bunch of certs and like some prior college and I kind of collected all of these things and I transferred them into my computer science degree and then once I actually registered and started doing the courses at WGU I only had like 11 classes left to complete the comp sci degree and I I just completed the comp sci degree in two months because I like transferred everything everything in. So it's a really nice strategy. You know, pay, I paid like $3,600 finished in two months, and then I was done with the comp sci degree. So it's kind of, it's kind of fun. And it takes like a little bit of the stress away, kind of reducing your course load, like once you actually register at WGU. If you're interested, again, I made this video, just check it out. It's specifically for computer science and kind of what I did to like finish in two months. But just imagine instead of computer science, like whatever your degree is, like whether it's like IT or like one of the nursing or teachers degrees, you can kind of do the same thing and kind of implement the same strategy. But yeah, that's pretty much
much all I wanted to cover in this video. If you enjoyed the content, please feel free to like and subscribe. Again, I always respond to like everybody's comments. So if you have like criticism or questions or anything like this, I'm 100% going to respond to you. So don't hesitate to leave a comment. Uh, if you're interested in study.com, don't forget uh, about the discount code because 30% is, is a pretty decent chunk. So yeah, go ahead and use that. Other than that, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.